everyone, this is Polly from polynoble.com, welcome, hope you're all having a good week. So today I want to talk to you about acid and alkaline. One of the things that's coming up with quite a lot of my clients is that they know they need to be eating more fruits and vegetables, but they don't really understand the why behind it. And I think it's really, really important to understand the whys and how it has a positive effect on you compared to the foods that have a negative effect on you. you know, I more than anybody know that when you go to a supermarket, it can be quite hard to walk away from that crack den that's you know, of sugar and sweets and all the, the things that, you know, I've and you've probably grown up with um, and instead go for things that are a lot, lot healthier. So the problem with all of that, the sugar and the sweets and the refined carbs and all that sort of stuff that, like I say, we have grown up with, well, especially I have anyway, um, they're very, very acid forming and acid actually creates an imbalance within the body and the body is mostly an alkaline, has an alkaline solution within it, it has a pH scale. I don't know whether you remember your science class at school, but the, the pH scale runs from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. In an alkaline state, really, at optimum level, our body needs to be at 7.365. So when we're eating foods that are, you know, dairy products, are very mucus forming, sugar especially, meat products, things that are processed, things that are not natural, things that have been altered in the process of going from where it's come from to being on, on the shelf, they are very, very acid forming and they don't have a lot of nutrition left in them because they've been cooked to death and most of them are basically dead. They have no enzymes, vitamins or minerals for you. So when you look at the alkaline foods that are all green, they're living products, they're full of chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is a process which allows uh, the plant to actually turn the sun's light into energy. So when we eat those foods that are very alkalizing, they actually fill us with life force because you know the cucumber or the kale or the lettuce or whatever it is is actually alive and so then that gives us energy so when you compare that to eating something that's processed and has a shelf life longer than you you know it's quite understandable that your body's going to much prefer the thing that's living and, and give it the vitamins and minerals that it needs and if we continue to eat the foods that are very acid forming our system starts getting overworked and, it, and it's actually become malnourished because it can't get any of the vitamins and minerals from the food that you're eating. So it starts robbing the reservoir that it keeps within the bones and the teeth and all the other things that places that it keeps the vitamins and minerals. And if you continue to deprive it, you're going to become um, actually very ill. So it's really, really important to keep on introducing more green foods into your diet and raw, especially raw food because they're packed full of enzymes. And the enzymes actually help to break down the cooked foods because there's no enzymes left in them. And your body actually has a, has a small reservoir, but it relies on us to, to keep replenishing that. So, this is my breakfast for this morning. This is, um, what have I got in there? Kale, cucumber, a bit of lettuce, and an apple. And surprisingly, it is really, really nice, but it's very, very alkalizing. So my body's going to, it's been on an eight-hour fast, and... If I wake up and put coffee into that, or tea, which is stimulants, or even, you know, some cereal, which, even if they're bran flakes, for example, they've probably got more sugar in them than your body wants or needs. So, the, the key is to keep, it, to keep it green, because they are living foods full of chlorophyll, and chlorophyll actually, chemically, is, is, is the most similar to our blood. So when we absorb chlorophyll, it actually oxygenates us from the inside out, and all of our cells need oxygen to be able to live and survive. So again, the more chlorophyll, the more green, and the more raw foods that we put into our body, the more living we are going to feel. Okay, so until next time, keep it clean and keep it green. Take care, bye-bye.